DIY sewing lookbook, maxi dress and a top that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, I'm Colleen G. Lee and welcome to FSB TV. If you're new to your channel, hello. I'm a certified fashion design lecturer. I enjoy drafting my own sewing patterns and garment construction. And if that is something of interest to you, consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of when I upload videos. And let's get started. So I am on my third outfit, my third garment in my 2018 summer collection. Um, the top is this simple little top with spaghetti straps. And it's just straight across and it has bust darts. You can't really tell. That's one thing with bust darts when you do it in this kind of pattern fabric is that it, you, you really can't see it. And to the bottom of the hemline are slits and just look at this hemline. That is gorgeous. So it, I actually didn't have anything to do with that. It's just that it is the salvage. So I didn't have enough to do it on the straighter grain, so I did it on the cross of the grain, and so that mean that meant I could utilize the selvage and just get that gorgeous kind of edgy look to my top, so it doesn't look pristine and pretty and stuff. So yeah, I really love that detail. So that's how simple that was, and as I mentioned, the spaghetti strap. So that was just the large pieces of leftover fabric. What I did design as part of my 2018 collection was this beautiful it really looks orange on camera yeah it is it is a very tangerine orange it's a gorgeous shade of um orange and the polka dots are on it are, are kind of like a gray color they're, they're not white it's a gray color so um this is super long it really is long it comes down to my ankles so did i change anything on this yeah, I changed a couple of things. I originally wanted a ruffle um, detailing along the, under the bust and all the way around the back. And I think I just basically influenced by what's happening now is that there's so many ruffles and gathers and frills that are happening um, as a design feature and garments. And it's like, when I tried to do it with this one, it was like, it wasn't happening. So I didn't go ahead and do that. And the other change that I made is cap sleeves. So I do like cap sleeves and I do have one or two items with cap sleeves, but I decided to go for a short straight sleeve and yeah, it really did work. But what worked better is when I turned up the hem of the sleeve and that gave it an edge. So that kind of helped with the kind of rough kind of edge to the top. So um, I like that, I like that feature. They actually turn up something so simple can really change a garment so it's always worth bearing that in mind now i did cover buttons and rouleau loops i'll actually put links to those tutorials in the description so do click on those and it has long slits there we are long slits on the side seams out of everything that i've designed so far i thought this would probably be the one that i didn't like the most but it actually isn't the one that I do like the most because that red top the alternate back one that I did before this video love that top oh really it fits beautifully it's yeah I can't say anything about that one but this is just as beautiful I wear it with skinny jeans and a belt and yeah I love it once you put this on the garment <laughs> when you start walking you actually feel like you've got a cloak on like a superhero kind of thing going on um, which is interesting and I don't think everyone bears that in mind how garments can make you feel when you've actually got them on your body so during the fitting of this it's like this is going to be an interesting garment and I like the way it flows behind me when I walk so anyway you know what I mean I've actually done a as per usual a photo sh a photo shoot and um, a video shoot of me wearing this so you can see how it works on my body and that's coming up now.
enjoyed the video tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Please do leave a comment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Don't forget to hit the bell to receive notifications of when I upload videos. And also, do make sure that you visit the community tab because I'm trying to post there as often as possible. And that just gives you a bit more behind the scenes and what I want to achieve with the channel. So I've actually got a poll up there now, so it would be great if you went along and just check that out. And I will see you next time.